Our next presentation is by Oli Hosmark from the Norwegian Director of Fisheries, talking to their Catch ID program. Hi, my name is Ole Hosmark. I'm employed as a senior advisor at the Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries. I'm here today to present a newly launched initiative from the Directorate called the Catch ID program. But first of all, I would like to say, like to say a few words about the Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries. The Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries is a Norwegian government agency subject to the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Fisheries. It was established in year 1900 and our headquarters is located in Bergen, Norway. The Directorate is the authority's leading advisory and executive body within fisheries administrations and management in Norway. The Directorate's main task is to promote profitable economic activity through sustainable and user-oriented management of marine resources and the marine environment. This task is managed through a wide range of activities, such as development and enforcement of legislations, giving advice to the Ministry, marine resource management, for example, allocations of fisheries, fishery quota and allocations of aquaculture licenses. We handle complaints from the industry. We are partners in bilateral and multilateral fishery negotiations. We develop official fishery statistics and we are managers of monitor control and surveillance of both fishery and aquaculture industry. The Directorate has the supreme responsibility of conducting monitor control and surveillance of fisheries conducted in the areas under Norwegian jurisdictions and by Norwegian vessels. Operationally, this is managed as a collaboration between the Directorate, the Norwegian Coast Guard and the sales organizations from which all landed fish in Norway are distributed to the markets. As you can see from the map here, Norway have a really long coastline and the marine areas under Norwegian jurisdictions are marked here in blue, purple, and turquoise. So to give you a bit of a background on the newly launched initiative, uh, a report was presented back in 2019 called the Future Perspective of MCS Management. From this report, we have identified the main reason that we have not managed to end uh, IUU fishing is that uh, report reporting is done by the industry is based on self-reporting or lack of reporting requirements. Thus, making headway, we need to ask if new technological solutions could remedy this risk. In addition, market states and consumers are constantly introducing new requirements and expectations to document the legality and sustainability of fisheries. Therefore, we have decided that we need to develop and introduce new technological solutions to be used on board fishing vessels, where these solutions represent an independent third party. This can be described as a compliance by design approach. Compliance by design architectures represents an end-to-end -end approach in which information is collected from the source system and distributed to the relevant public agencies. An automated documentation system will be able to contribute to meeting various documentation requirements, while at the same time reduce the room for opportunity for those seeking unlawful gain through deliberate misreporting, while simultaneously increasing the quality of registered data. This will also give incentives for more selective fisheries and increase the efficiency of the fisheries. The results will give stronger confidence in stock management, correct deductions of quotas, and in general, increase confidence and trust between industry, managers, scientists, and society due to improved transparency at each part of the value chain. The Catch ID program is a new initiative launched by the Directorate of Fisheries to support the development and implementations of new technological solutions to accommodate the challenges with unreported and unregulated fishing. The Catch ID program aims to support the development of a fully integrated documentation system. The initial objective is to use third party technology to automatically register all marine resources harvested in real time and with limited or no need for human interaction. 
This will make quota deductions possible already prior to landing, reducing the room to maneuver for intentional or unintentional violations of the regulations. Furthermore, the program aims to support the development of a tracking system to be able to trace the fishery products throughout the value chain. Such a system will support documentation of origin of the catch, assuring the consumers that the fish originates from ethical and sustainable fisheries, thus supporting the fight against IUU fisheries. Um, in the program, we have identified four areas of focus. The it will be essential to anchor the idea and objective uh, of the program within the fishing industry, where a public-private collaboration will likely be the key to succeed. Development and implementation of technolo a technology-based MCS system will likely give positive ripple effects for all parties involved in the fishing industry, as there will be converging interests. The second focus is to map relevant available or emerging technologies that can be of relevance to achieve the objectives of the program. To stimulate collaborations and form project partnership, the Catch ID program intend to start hosting an annual international conference to address new and ongoing projects that can be of relevance to reach the program, program objectives. Running projects and developing technological uh, solutions will require economic funding. The Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries have a limited annual grant intended to support projects working on solutions that will help reach the objectives of the program. While these grants cannot fund all relevant projects, we also intend to support projects applying for external funding. This can, for example, be through assistance in writing uh, funding applications, letters of support for projects, and taking part in steering groups, etc. Furthermore, the program will work to facilitate testing and implementation of new technological solutions for an automated MCS, as current regulations are not necessarily adapted for this. Furthermore, we aim to initiate pilot projects or change regulations where necessary to give the industry, suppliers and R&D environments incentives to launch and participate in projects that use new technological solutions that contributes to the program's overall objectives. The program has a clear management perspective, but will, as mentioned, also potentially have positive ripple effects for other actors within the industry. For instance, uh, it will give equal competitive conditions and reduce the incentive and room to maneuver for intended or unintended violation of their legislations. It will cause a less administrative burden for actors in the industry, as the system will build on the once only principle. It will uh, increase the traceability throughout the value chain, accommodating current and future documentation needs from consumers and different markets. And it will also uh, give a better statistical basis for stock and quota estimation for research agencies, such as the Institute of Marine Research or ISIS, um, who give quota and stock advice. Our current focus is to be present at different conferences and forums to present the program while networking with the industry, R&D environments, supplier industry, etc. We have thus also recently announced a request for information uh, with the focus of anchoring the project in different forum forums and identifying relevant technology through this. We are also in the startup phase of several exciting projects and are looking for looking to work uh, to reach the objectives of the program in a long term perspective. Thank you for your attention and if you have any questions or are working on technology that you think could be of relevance to the program, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for sharing that, Ole. You've presented a, a policy-rich presentation from a Norwegian management's perspective. Um, and it's, it is great to see such a serious approach being taken by the US and Norway and others who've got a real strategy for this in place and, and is starting to be rolled out through investment. And everyone knows Norway is a great investor in ocean um, 
technology, but also in, in understanding and managing sustainable fisheries. And I think there's a, there, later on today, we'll be talking a little bit about how we can, you know, partner people together or, or build the platform so that we can share ideas across and, and Norway's often a, a great supporter of that. It's also interesting to hear that Norway is interested in funding applications in development of applications or in that there are large opportunities through the EU and others. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm just, my small question to you is, do you see um, this policy being uh, very open to spreading globally rather than um, just developing the needs for, for Norway? And, and how do we, how does the world community leverage some of the developments that are coming in Norway or how would they engage? I think, of course, we have a Norwegian perspective on this, but uh, definitely I think we need to look at this in a global perspective and uh, whatever type of technology we introduce in Norway, I think would be of interest and a collaboration uh, between or a global collaboration around these issues regarding IEU fishing and overfishing would be of interest. So we're, that's why we intend to start hosting a kind of global event uh, in the future, um, addressing this kind of issues, uh, looking into new technological solutions uh, in a man management perspective. So that's kind of our view on it, that um, it's well, definitely- you, you definitely won't be short of uh, applicants for that conference, because for example, when we started off this event, we thought we'd just get a few groups around the table in Rome to try to iron out what we're doing. Obviously, the COVID came along and we opened up this turn into three days with over 40 presentations and another, you know, another few handfuls of presentations that we couldn't accept because we just recognized that people cannot spend all day on Zoom. So I think your your conference idea is a very good idea for sharing that for sharing information. I'm going to pass over to Anton Ellenbrook now. I believe he has a question for you. Anton. Uh, yes, so it's more about the policy framework. So you, you are very uh, near to the science policy interface with your activities. And also Norway has a, as one of the first countries developed a national strategy for the use of AI in uh, sustainable development. So does your fish ID program directly relate to this national strategy? And is there also a national infrastructure where you can host your data, where you can host your applications, or how are you organized? And what can other countries learn from this example or what should we avoid to do? Um, so basically this, um, this is related to that um, strategy, um, but the, this current program started up in February. So we're pretty, we're in the starter phase of this, um, but we're looking into, how we're going to manage the data we get in that's part of the project but um, the first kind of um, focus is to collect the data in a proper manner uh, using the technology but then also on the second or, or and then still keep the thought uh, about how we're going to manage the data so it's kind of a two-way run here um, but we are in the starter phase of this so uh, if you talk to me in one year's time I will probably be able to tell you a lot more about how we manage the data and what what you shouldn't do and what you probably should do okay sorry sorry for being early <laughs> <laughs> no worries oh, thank, thank you very much Ole and uh, it's an exciting prospect to see Norway putting their shoulder to this wheel so thank you very much for your presentation